you'd be amazed at how many big fish there are so close to the coast of Perth. Literally only a few kilometres out of the Mindari Marina is a wreck that's home to massive Samson fish. Sure, not great eating, but as a sport fish they have few rivals. This year I've been fortunate to do a lot of fishing with Ryan Thipthorpe, who's become quite a popular member of the Fishing WA team. I'd caught Sambos off Mindari before, but not like the way Ryan and Steve Palumbo have been doing it. We've been out here to the Gemini Wreck catching Samson fish before, but I'm here with Ryan again today. We've got a completely different way to show you, mate. This was developed by your friend Steve Palumbo, yeah? That's right, yeah. Steve Palumbo has been out here catching Samson fish on fly. I said to him, count me in, I'm out there using flies like this. As you can see, this fly's got a large profile. It looks very, very flashy, just like what bait fish would do in the water. It's an epoxy head, and it looks great. Samson fish love them. Well, I've heard they do. You think a trout will put a bend in a fly rod? Wait till you see what a Samson fish does to it. Come on, let's go. One of the keys to getting these fish on fly is keeping a steady trail of burly cubes going. It's working already. Look at that. One cruising. Normally, you would see them on the bottom down here, but our burly is bringing them up. Look, there's a Samson fish coming up. That's the same fish coming up to get some burly. That's why these colour sounders are great. This is not a spectator sport. Using a fast sinking fly line, Ryan strips the fly as fast as he can from the wreck some 30 metres down, right back to the boat. The fish could hit at any time. There's a couple coming up in the trail, mate. Yes! Yep, I'm on, Steve. Uh, you think so? Oh, just... <laughs> <laughs> One thing about Sambos, mate, when you're on, you're definitely on. Oh, Steve was just putting that bill in the water, and I saw him come up and hit that fly. Oh, man, what a fight on fly. Jeez, they go hard, Steve. You've done well, though. Have you turned his head? Yeah, I think I might have maybe just got him off the bottom there. Oh. The one thing about fly reels is that you have a one-to-one -one ratio. So when you're only lifting up a little bit at a time, you're not putting a great deal of pressure on the fish. No, that's right. Whoa, look at the rod go. Look at that. Talk us through the rod. What sort of rod are you using? This one here is the G. Loomis Nauticus rod. It's a saltwater 10 weight fly rod. And I have the fast sinking line to get that fly right down to the bottom. And the pen, the rule I'm using here is a pen Pen International with a beautiful silky smooth drag as you can hear. Well drag is the key isn't it when you're doing oh, this sort yeah. of thing. He's gone for that anchor rope mate. Oh I think so. I might have to put a bit of wood on him. Talk us through uh, what the weights mean in these fly rods. Well that one there is actually 10 weight. Um, some people say simplify it. Well you could say it's like 10 kilo um, conventional gear. But it's a particular type of weight of line that is used to carry the fly, and this is generally 10 weights really designed for saltwater species like Samson fish, uh, Spanish mackerel. And a lot of things like five weights, they're uh, for fly casting when you have to really present a fly. That's right, exactly. The lighter line generally means you can cast a delicate uh, fly out like a, uh, a, a small trout fly, like a nymph. You get some back, there you are. Yeah. Geez, these G. Loomis rods are excellent. Oi! Might have to go to the front there, I think. Yeah, got him away from the anchor rope, which is good. Took me all the way around the boat. With fly reels, we use what's called backing. That's the pink braid that you can see there, usually Dacron, and that's tied to your fly line which is only about 30 metres. The fly line is just used to either sink your fly or actually cast and give you the weight to cast the fly, but then you attach lots of backing when you're fighting big fish, and when they go for a run, you're still in business. Jeez, this fish is giving me a bit of curry, it's seen the boat, it's decided to go back down again. Really, really good action. When the Sambo finally appeared, we couldn't believe how big it was. Oh, oh I've got the leader in there. 
Here he is. Oh, wow. yeah. Oh, good fish. Let's get him in. I want to get that one in. Got to get this one in. Okay, here we go. Head first into the net. Um, yes. Yeah, here. Used to we have a problem. <laughs> He's pretty knackered. Lift. Oh, that's, that's a Samson fish on fly, folks. They don't come much bigger than that with the fly rod. It's not a trout, that's for sure. <laughs> Mate, you're all tangled up. Oh, How's that for a fish? And there's the fly. You can't even hold him up, can you? Oh, I'm struggling, Steve. He's got that right in the side of him. <laughs> you're going to go for the back. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. I think he's well hooked, that one. He is. That fly isn't coming out, but you can see that's a fly that Ryan talked about earlier, right in the side of the gob, and that's a pretty big gob. We'll get that hook out and let him go. How exciting was that, Ryan? We braved the elements and ended up with your best ever Samson fish on fly. Steve, that was great. I've caught Samson fish on fly before, but to get a 15 kilo on 10 weight, that was awesome. And I reckon it could have been even a bit bigger than that. This is great, and the coordinates to this spot can be found on the fishingwa.com website. So if you want to come out here and try your luck with a fly rod just like Ryan, log on and have a go.